Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. Our guest today is Danielle Bohannon. She's from uh, Web Orthodontics. We're going to talk about uh, kind of a new charity event going on here in town, and uh, Web is behind this. It's called Foster Care Kids Closet, mm -hmm. and uh, Danielle is here to talk about it. Uh, this is going to happen this November, all through this month. So uh, what is Foster Care Kids Closet? Foster Care Kids Closet is a great organization that's actually located in Gearing. Um, it was put together by a group of individuals in our community that just had a heart for the foster kids in our area. Um, Scott Curtis, who's the closet organizer, he was actually bringing clothes back from Lincoln, Nebraska for our kids in this community because he just saw a need. And that's kind of how the closet idea was born. Okay, so this is the idea here is to provide clothing for the foster kids. Mm -hmm. uh, clothing that they probably would not have otherwise, right? Yeah, a story I've actually shared uh, several times with a few people. I was at Staples and getting our posters printed for this event. I met a gal down there and she saw them and she goes, oh, that's so great that you're doing that. Um, foster Care Closet really helped our family out. They had just gotten into being foster parents and uh, they received a couple little girls who came with nothing but pajamas. And then a few weeks later, they got a little boy who uh, never had any shoes didn't come with any shoes. So it really is a viable organization. It's really helping out some um, people in our community. All right. This is the first year we've done this here, huh? It is. For Web Orthodontics, this is a brand new um, organization that we're getting involved with. And it's just been such an awesome turnout that we're really excited about potentially um, partnering with them again. All right. Um, obviously, uh, November has already started. So when, uh, when this airs, um, uh, we're going to be about three, two thirds of the way through the month. Mm -hmm. um, but you still obviously have some need, right? We sure do. And um, there's a few more days left to give. Like you said, we're going to run it through the month of November. Um, so a few more days, but they'll take donations all throughout the year. We're going to have um, information on our website. So if people still want to be involved with this, they can just check that out at um, webortho.com and uh, continue to give all throughout the year. Okay, what type of things are you looking for? Um, they're collecting clothes um, for the ages of birth to 19-year-olds. And uh, specifically, we're looking for jeans for older kids, um, older boys, um, plus size uh, jeans for girls, um, shoes, definitely winter clothes, um, socks and underwear would be great. Okay. And also uh, hygiene items as well? Or? Yeah. Hygiene items would be great. Toothbrushes, combs, uh, toothpaste, shampoos, things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so far you've had a pretty good response this month to this, huh? Overwhelmingly good, yeah. Um, we just are so grateful for the response from our community and our uh, vestibule, that entryway in between Web Orthodontics and Web Eye Care, who's also helping us uh, sponsor this event. It's just getting packed out, and we're having to keep piling it up so people can even walk in. It's great. Well, that's good. That's the way you want to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a quick break and uh, have more right after this. All right, here we go. Coming in three, two, one. Back on News Extra this morning, we have Danielle Bohannon from Web Orthodontics. We're talking about Foster Care Kids Closet. This is a, uh, a charity effort to uh, get clothes for foster care kids that uh, come to those homes. A lot of times the foster parents get them, and like you said, they don't have anything but pajamas, maybe no shoes, maybe no winter clothes, mm -hmm. whatever. And you said winter clothes especially, so... A lot of times they don't have coats and gloves and hats and all those kind of things. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. And I can attest to that because I used to work um, in the school system and there would be kids on a frigid winter day who would come to school, no coats or anything. You'd ask them about it and they say, well, I don't have one. So it's it's definitely a true statement that there are kids out there who don't have those things. All right. And school clothes, you mentioned, uh, that's what you want to get for kid, for teenagers, mm -hmm. both boys and girls, jeans. Absolutely. Um, and definitely for older kids, uh, we have a lot of younger kids' clothing, which of course they'll still continue to take. But those older kids, I think, sometimes get a little bit forgotten. So gently used items for them would be great, and especially shoes, too. All right. Okay, sneakers, that type of stuff. Even boots, I suppose, huh? Yeah, definitely winter boots. Probably no dress shoes, things like that, they said. So. All right. 
Okay, very good. So once again, uh, if they want to get involved, can they call Web Orthodontics or just basically go on the website? They can certainly call us. We'd be happy to answer any questions uh, that someone might have. And then, um, as you said, we're kind of wrapping this up. It's kind of towards the end of the month, but people can still continue to give. Just check out our website, uh, webortho.com. We'll have some more information on there so people can continue to give throughout the year. And another great opportunity is a toy drive um, that the closet's going to be sponsoring. And so if people want to donate toys coming up on Christmas time, we'll have some information on that as well. All right. Very good. Uh, for folks that don't know where you are, what's your address? All right. It's 313 West 38th Street in Scotts Bluff. All right. Right up there toward the hospital. You just yep. take a left off of 38th and you're there, right? Yep. Pretty easy. Come All find right. us. All right. Very good. Thanks for coming in, Dan. Thanks, Appreciate Kevin. It's been great. It. You bet.